This video will cover the topic, identifying functions from relations. For our first example, we will need to determine whether this relation can be considered a function. What rules would we need to follow in order to identify if the relation is a function? We can determine if a relation is a function by looking at the domain of the relation. If the domain of the relation is attached to two values of the range, then the relation is not a function. What about the range? Can it be attached to more than one value in the domain? Yes, the range can be attached to more than one value in the domain and the relation would still be considered a function. If we go back to our example problem, we can see that our r variable is attached to more than one value in the range column. This means that this relation is not a function. Can we see an example of a relation that's considered a function? Of course, if we look at this relation, we can see that each value in the domain is attached to only one value in the range. While negative 7 is attached to more than one value in the domain column, the relation is still a function since values in the range can be attached to more than one value. I think I'm starting to understand, but let me summarize just to make sure. In order for a relation to be considered a function, the values in the domain can only be attached to one value in the range. If a value in the domain is attached to more than one value in the range, the relation is not a function. Great job! It seems that you understand how to identify a function from a relation.